Welcome to the service of daily evening prayer at uh, the Episcopal Church of Our Savior in Madison County. We welcome all who watch this to come join us. <clears throat> and if you have a prayer book, if you would turn to page uh, 115 to start, we'll start. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let, let us say together, O gracious light, found on page 118 in the prayer book. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. The psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 113, which begins on page 756 on the Book of Common Prayer. And let us say this responsively by the whole verse. Page 756. Hallelujah. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? Who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? He takes up the weak out of the dust, and lifts up the Lord. He sets them with princes, with the princes of his people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. <coughs> First book of Samuel. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord, my strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no, talk no more so very proudly. 
Let not arrogance come from your, from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bowels of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit the seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might does one prevail. The Lord, his adversaries shall be shattered. The Most High will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of the anointed. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us say in unison the Jubilate, which is found on page 82 and 83. Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to day. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who, per who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together, the canticle, A Song of God's Humility, uh, from Philippians 2, 6 through 11. And I do not have a page number for this. Does someone? Okay. I shall, I'll just read it then. Though in the form of God, Christ did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. stand as you are able. The Holy Gospel of our Savior according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of our Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child of my womb will let for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, Lord Christ. The Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary in our church calendar that we celebrate today commemorates this visit that Mary made to her cousin Elizabeth that is recorded in the Gospel of Luke. I understand why this very young pregnant teenager would have gone to stay with a much older cousin Elizabeth for support and encouragement. At that time, Elizabeth herself was pregnant with John the Baptist, and she certainly seemed to understand the support and encouragement that Mary needed. So when Mary arrived, Elizabeth said to her, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. This must have brought tremendous relief to Mary. And Mary broke out in a song of praise and thanksgiving. That song <coughs> is what we just heard that was recorded in the Gospel of Luke. And it is what now we call the Magnificat. And it is said every day as part of our morning prayer and our evening prayer services in the daily offices in the Book of Common Prayer. In the Magnificat, Mary praises God, saying, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. There is so much to commend Mary, and she's been venerated throughout the Christian Church, throughout history, worldwide. She's even mentioned and venerated in the Quran. Mary set an incredible example for all of us. As a young virgin teenager, she courageously said yes to God when she was invited to receive the Holy Spirit and become the birth mother of Jesus. 
that must have taken incredible courage at that time and in that culture when she could have been killed simply for being an unwed teenage mother. It must have taken tremendous humility for Mary to set aside her, her hopes and aspirations in her own life to say yes to God. She would have had to have tremendous trust in God to be able to do this. She trusted God, even though she was being asked to do something that was very risky. She did so without even knowing what would be the consequences for her for the rest of her life. And thankfully, Joseph agreed to marry her, to um, protect her honor. It makes me think about how often in life we felt that God was calling us to do something and we responded by saying, not now, Lord, I have to do this, or I have to do that first. Or we would have responded by saying, no, Lord, that would mean I'd have to give up too much, and that might make me feel uncomfortable. I've been guilty of this. Mary not only said yes to God, she responded with this song of extraordinary praise of God and gratitude to God. And she said this even before Jesus was born, even before she knew what an extraordinary thing it would be for her to be chosen to be the birth mother of Jesus. And without knowing the remarkable ministry of her son Jesus. I think of the multiple ways in which I've been blessed by God every day, and yet I forget to praise and thank God. Perhaps we're all guilty of this. For all these reasons, I think Mary is an extraordinary woman who can inspire us and guide us in the way we live our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say together the song of Simeon found on page 120 in the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born in the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. 
clothe your ministers with righteousness. Make your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And with your Holy Spirit. The colic of the day. Father in heaven, by your grace, the Virgin Mary of your incarnate Son was blessed in bearing him, but still more blessed in keeping your word. Grant us who honor the exaltation of her lowliness to follow, the example of her devotion of your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the end of gun violence. All loving Father in heaven, you alone are at the heart of all we know and treasure. We come to you ever thankful for the many freedoms and privileges granted us in this great land. May our prayers today be that we learn to follow your laws of love in resolving the grievous spread of gun violence in our country. Lord, in your mercy, teach us to unite, despite our differences, in the name of saving our families, our communities, and especially our children. May we, as one body, put our deepest trust in your most holy spirit of grace and guidance. We pray today and always in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, whose undying love saves us all. Um, Amen. Call it for peace. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. Amen. A colic for protection. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I would welcome your thanksgivings or intercessions, either orally or silently. Pray for the peoples of Kosovo. Thankful for this beautiful day. We pray for our major war in Sudan and Ukraine. Would you join me in the general thanksgiving? found on page 125 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, 
but in our life by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all faith. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.